one kind of misunderstanding that the English and the Wyanoks had early on, and it continued to be a misunderstanding for many years, was that the English wanted to buy corn when their own supplies ran out, and they assumed that men were the heads of Indian households, and so they would try to get the men to sell corn. It may not have been up to the men in Indian culture. Women raised the corn, and they were perfectly capable of selling it. And the English may well have offended those Indian women by refusing to talk to them and going to the husbands instead. The English and the Indian men had their difficulties because they were all very interested in arms for warfare. Most of the English colonists had been to the wars in Europe and they had firearms. The Indian men lived in a place where raiding went on all the time. The enemies for the Wyanoks were on the west side of Richmond. Warfare came right to your door. So the Indian men with their bows and arrows and tomahawks were expert in using them. They were expert marksmen. But they soon realized that the English weapons, initially sounding scary, those weapons could shoot farther, the bigger weapons anyway. And since they were all, these were all military men of one sort or another, they were fascinated with each other's weapons. And of course the English assumed that their weapons were better which was not necessarily true. And the Indians were dying to see them close up and handle them and try them out. And the English wouldn't allow it. And that caused offense. The irony is that for the wilderness over here, almost complete wilderness outside the Indian towns, Indian weapons were actually better because you could fire them moving fast, taking cover, firing again, take more cover, fire again. The English weapons were all muzzle-loading things, and many of them were very, very heavy. Some of them had to be put up on a tripod. You couldn't hold them up yourself. And those were meant for open field fighting. Well, where do you find open fields in this part of the world? So the English weapons were good for scaring people, but they weren't that good in actual fights.